that some of our, um, our singers had that we kind of didn't cover a little bit today. Um, and I was just wondering, do you have any strategies for personal stories for how to keep your, how to maintain your vocal health? You know, when you're busy, you're traveling, you're preparing for juries, you're preparing for roles. How do you, what strategies do you do um, that might be useful for people as they're getting ready for auditioning, um, whether it's for, you know, grad school, college, or just jobs? I hate to say it, um, but I don't hate to say it. It's very general. You are always a singer at every moment of your life. And you're socializing, and you're you know, living, and what you eat, and what you drink, you're always a singer. Also, your hydration starts like two weeks before. Yeah. It is too late that day. You know, Six hours is the last, uh, the latest that you can drink something and it actually goes through your body yeah. and gets into your uh, vocal cords. That is that and like sometimes first thing if you wake up in the morning, yeah. sometimes, but six hours. Oh, and not too much before you go to bed. Yes. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Do not drink too much before you go to bed. It's like an acid reflux thingy, okay? And even if you don't feel it, because a lot of times young people don't, even if you don't feel it, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. Start in the morning and then, especially the night before an audition. Just take care of yourself, do things yeah. for yourself outside of like drinking water, you know, watch your favorite Netflix show or whatever you want. Just like take care of yourself. Your body is your instrument, you know, like including your brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's also a thing. So um, don't, I, you know, eventually, like as you go through it, you become uh more and more immune and you figure out strategies that work for you how to get through three shows in a row or anything like that but like when you're starting out just take care of yourself and um eat good food get good yeah. sleep drink good water you know it's it's i hate i wish it was more complicated than that but like that's that's kind of it don't go out to the bars the night before with your buddies, you know, I don't know. <laughs> don't, also don't over sing and don't over practice. Yes. That's a big thing. Um, and when I say over practice, I mean there are plenty of ways to practice. And a lot of times silent practicing is much better than just singing your voice out all the time. Definitely and perma warm is a real thing. Like when you've been singing a lot or like every, a little every day, yep. you're warm already, don't overdo it. You know, learn your voice and learn where you are and don't, take those extra steps that'll, you know, use it up. Don't practice, I used to practice my high notes all the time. Oh. Don't worry about that. If oh, you yeah. sing your middle, your high will be there. Exactly. Promise. And promise. your low, your high will be mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that was, I mean, you hit it right on the head. And thank you, you know, we really kind of have gone and sort of covered a whole, so many subjects today and just kind of touched on, you know, so many things that I think, you know, it's, it's helpful to hear it kind of all, all here. And, um, all of us really appreciate your coming and sharing with us today. Thank you for the singer, sir, and Jordan for playing. Yeah, thank you.